basically the first thing is the importance of note making okay the importance of note making is most underrated but please make sure that you know note making is one of the most important aspects of your preparation okay some people will overdo it and some people will underrate it so you have to find the right balance okay now in insights the strategy is mainly if we take a syllabus if i take a syllabus i can you, you know that syllabus is given in the in, in bullet points correct so i can classify that particular bullet points into two types okay i can classify it as topic based bullet points okay i can classify it as descriptive like bullet points got it so what is topic based bullet points topic based is mainly if that bullet point is a particular topic for example self help group or effects of globalization on society so these are all topics okay so we can segregate uh, such uh, bullet points as topic based bullet points and then there is something called descriptive like bullet points okay this is if you take gs1 there is a bullet point that is given in uh, upsc that bullet point itself constitutes the entire world history okay there will be another bullet point that bullet point itself will constitute the entire modern india okay such bullet points are usually descriptive like bullet points okay so if you classify your entire syllabus into topic based and uh, descriptive like bullet points you have to know how to make your notes okay now i'll give you just a brief overview of how topic based bullet points notes needs to be done for example let us take sg self help groups so if you take self help groups obviously you are going to go to google and then you are going to type self help groups what strategy that we would like to tell is self help groups space insights secure so once you type such uh, you know um, you know search query in your google uh, search engine you will get a lot of links correct so in that links try to choose the top 3 links or four links open it download the synopsis so you have enough content on sgs with this enough content you can prepare your own notes okay so that is one way to go about it all right now when you are preparing let us i am i am again coming back to self help group when you are preparing for self help group always have it in your mind now you have downloaded three to four synopsis all the synopsis is talking about self help group the data is there in a very random manner and everything is scattered now when you are putting it, putting all this data into your uh, one particular notes have it in your mind that one you should have it in your mind that you are making this notes to write just a 15 marker you are not trying to do a research on self help groups that is first thing the second thing is try to make that notes in a structured format okay always make sure that the notes is in a structured format all right for example now if i take self help group and if i am making notes i am going to write okay let us say from that synopsis uh, five synopsis that i have downloaded from google i am going to uh, make a notes in such a way that first i'll try to put some definition one or two definition of what self help group is all about okay or i'll talk about some factual uh, information about self help groups so that acts as a introduction to an answer if asked in upsc the next is coming to different dimensions that i can add one is i can talk about the positives of self help group then i can talk about the challenges of self help group then i can talk about the government initiatives for self help group then i can talk about uh, you know the, some examples success stories of self help groups so like that under each broad subheadings you try to add six six points or five five points and go you have to keep it in mind that you you need enough content for a 15 marker so if you uh, if you create a structured notes in a way where your self help group uh, you know topic will cover around let us say 250 to 300 words that is enough okay so that is how you have to tackle the topic based bullet points got it so any topic based bullet points you take try to take it search it in google with respect to insight secure that is one way to do it then download whatever content is there and then you create your notes from those content okay so it may take let us say one and a half to two hours to do this but once you are done with it that particular bullet point is done and that is your notes that you are going to keep revising again and again irrespective of what question upsc asks over the topic for example now if you, whatever questions that upsc asks over self help group you will only have to shuffle the points here and there and write that answer so more or less you have prepared your answer even before going to the exam on that particular topic so that is one way of going about note making for topic based bullet points okay this is the first strategy the next is uh, descriptive like bullet points this i told you right so uh, mainly these are bullet points where you know it constitutes one entire book it is not a one topic so for example it may be world history it may be modern india or it may be in gs2 there are there are bullet points for example it covers entire parliament chapter okay so how to go about these things all right now see the best scenario for for you people to uh, approach such type of note making for such bullet points is see everyone would have studied spectrum correct you people know spectrum modern india now after modern india once you read modern india and once you go to the last two pages you will summarize the entire chapter in just two to three pages 
okay so that should be the strategy more or less for you to make notes for this descriptive like bullet points got it so in descriptive like bullet points what you should do mainly is you should read the chapter and after the chapter make a notes not extending more than two pages okay all you have to see is the heading subheading and keywords that's all should be there so the moment you are coming back to revise let us say you have prepared a notes on modern india uh, chapter wise you have prepared two two pages and let us say there are um, 20 chapters so you have uh, around 40 to 50 pages let us assume that you took 60 pages not an issue so you should be in a stage where you are going to study for let us say 4 to 5 hours and you are going to finish modern india from mains perspective got it so that is uh, that is how you need to approach the descriptive like bullet points got it so this is the importance of note making please see the importance of note making is it helps you to filter out unwanted things it helps you to keep revising again and again which is the key to mains exam okay mains is all about how fast you can recollect and you can write an answer there okay if you are planning or if you are thinking that i'm going to go to the exam and all the 20 questions i'm going to make up an answer there and write then you have lost the game there itself your main strategy should be most of the questions i have already prepared my answers even before going to the exam but there will be five questions or four questions where i have to prepare an answer there in sitting in the exam so that should always be the strategy and that can be a strategy if you have prepared the notes on the basis of bullet points okay if you observe one certainty in mains unlike prelims is if you are prepared on every bullet point and if you see the question paper and analyze the previous year question paper i mean every bullet point will have some relevant question regarding that right so if you if you see the previous year question paper and analyze every bullet point there will be one question coming from every bullet point in the syllabus so let us say that there are 18 bullet points in gs2 and you are prepared on all the 18 bullet points so invariably you are prepared around 14 to 15 questions answers to 14 15 questions even before going to the exam so that is the strategy that you need to follow and for that strategy you need to have the notes and you need to keep repeating it many number of times okay so this this is more or less the importance of note making finally i have told you structured notes is very important are you getting it so don't just keep dumping a lot of data from different sources you should always follow a structured format i gave you an example of self help groups so i had a structure there Uh, so whatever questions upsc asks i will try to shuffle the points here and there but more or less that structure in my notes will always be there and that is what will reflect in my answer as well okay so that is one and next thing is you should just know enough to write a 15 marker see this is the most important part in your note making what happens is usually you are so overwhelmed overwhelmed by so much information around you that you start taking so many information and writing it in your notes some people will even do the mistake of replicating the entire test book or replicating the entire synopsis into their notes whenever you face that problem always keep telling yourself you should just know enough to write a 15 marker okay just enough that should be the limiting uh, aspect to you all right next then the next trap usually people fall under is perfect notes everyone wants to make perfect notes if you are trying to make a perfect note then that itself is a flaw okay please do not uh, fall under this myth of your note should be perfect or your note should cover everything there cannot be any notes that can cover anything okay i'm sorry everything so the it is okay that if you are you know uh, you know letting go of two three points here and there that is fine that is not the issue at all but there should be some crisp notes made on every bullet point in the syllabus that should be the end goal the goal is not to make perfect notes the goal is to have some notes got it so do not try to achieve perfection do not try to sit for months together and try to collect all the data and keep dumping it there okay that will obviously once you are finished with all the bullet points let us say that you have you know dumped all the data in that you will not be able to revise it will become another test book okay it might as well read the test book then it is it is not useful okay so do not try to go under the you know uh, objective of trying to achieve a perfect notes that is not possible and that should not be the case also okay so this is more or less an idea that you should have when it comes to note making okay